hallelujah the lord that we serve is worthy to be praised um we're just going to frustrate the enemy from the get-go tonight amen we're gonna have a smile on our faces uh we're going to um operate as if we are carriers of the good news uh, everybody everywhere, whether you're on Zoom, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on YouTube. I know they're telling us that there's a spike in the COVID-19, and that's, that's, that's a reality, that's a fact. But we still know that the God that has kept us thus far, uh, he's a finisher. The word tells us that he's author and finisher of our faith. And so as you come on in, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Zoom, amen, let's come on in tonight, amen, with a praise on our lips, thanksgiving in our hearts, amen, let us magnify the Lord, amen, David said, let us uh, exalt his name together, uh, David says, whether you have a singing voice or not, you qualify, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah right where you are. YouTube, Facebook, shout hallelujah right where you are. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I feel the power Thank of you. the Lord already uh, uh, hovering. I feel Thank that the spirit of the Lord is about to touch down in somebody's circumstances. You thought the day was bad. Ah, The day is not over yet. God is not done yet with you. We're going to ask you tonight to lay aside today's disappointment and come on in. Hallelujah. As we go and we give God all the glory. Hallelujah. And all of the praise. Uh, in the islands, they have the saying that says, uh, uh, we go hard or we go home. Tonight, we're going hard into the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let worship rise. Let praises rise. Let adoration rise all over Zoom and Facebook and YouTube. No circumstance will stand in the way of my praise. No news, good or bad, will stand in the way of my praise. We're, 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 we're creating a landing strip for the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. His word says, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. He, in, he inhabits uh, the praises of his people. I wish somebody would praise him out loud. I wish somebody would praise him out. Hallelujah, hallelujah, with exuberance. Hallelujah, for he is our God. He is worthy to be praised. He is mighty. He is awesome. Hallelujah. He's the Lord of armies, the Lord of hosts, the Lord that is undefeated and undefeatable. All other gods must bow to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Can I tell you, any other God that operates, uh, operates, hallelujah, by the permission of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He sits above them all. Uh, God has no territory, hallelujah, that, uh, hallelujah, he cannot enter. In fact, all territories belong to him. The word says the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. All of it belongs to our God. All of it belongs to our King. Right from the get-go tonight. Hallelujah. I want to say to everybody, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl watching tonight, whether you are black or white, uh, uh, whether you are brown, whether you are yellow, whether you are red, whatever color they've ascribed to you, know that you are a child of the living God. You have a right to be here. Wherever you are is your daddy's place. You have a right to be here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know man have their laws. I know man have their, 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 their jurisdiction and all that kind of stuff. Hallelujah. And those must be respected. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, the earth is the Lord. 
and we have come tonight hallelujah this is not monday night this is not wednesday night this is tuesday night this is power up Tuesday. We come tonight to give God our best. We come tonight to lay it all out. Hallelujah. We come tonight to give him all the glory, all of the honor, all of the praise. Hallelujah. Let the praises go up now. Let the praises go up now. Let the praises go up loud. Come on, YouTube, I can't hear you. Let the praises go up. Hallelujah. Facebook, let the praises go up. Hallelujah. For when the praises go up, the blessings come down. When the praises go up, your Jericho wall will fall flat. Hallelujah. So somebody bless him tonight. Somebody magnify him tonight. Somebody give him glory. Hallelujah. For the Lord, our God, he alone is worthy worthy. The Lord our God, he alone is worthy. The Lord our God, and as you praise him tonight, uh, hallelujah, what sickness, uh, hallelujah, run up and down, run out, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, cannot find any abiding city, cannot find anywhere in your body to stay, hallelujah, even now we command sickness to go, even now we command frailty to leave your body, even now now we command strength to return. Oh, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. We're not happy because we're ignorant. We're not happy because we're naive. We understand that the joy of the Lord is the source of our strength. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody says that the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what God has done. What has God done? done for you. I ask tonight that you lift up a hand. I ask tonight that you give him worship. I ask tonight that you give him the praise that he deserves. Hallelujah. For he is God alone. He is God almighty. He is great and wonderful. Father, we bless you. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, you are God. It is futile for us to search through all eternity uh, looking for another God uh, because there is none like you uh, Lord God Almighty uh, hallelujah uh, oh God Almighty uh, from the beginning uh, you are God uh, and even at the end uh, you are still God. Father, and in between, in the in-between, you are God. Father, and as we come before you tonight, we are armed with the weapons of praise. Who is like unto you, mighty God? We raise you up high. We raise you up strong. We say, God Almighty, you alone be lifted up. You alone be exalted. You alone be extolled. Oh, great God Almighty, when we are in the valley, you are there, oh, lily of the valley. When you're in our darkest night, you are our bright and morning star. When we are hungry, you are the bread of life. When we are thirsty, you are the water we drink and never thirst again. When we are, oh God, sheep, you are our shepherd, Lord God Almighty. And God, not only are you the shepherd, but you are are the Lamb of God that takes the sins of the world. You are the Lion of the tribe of Judah. We lift you up, Lord Jesus. We raise you up, Lord Jesus. We magnify you through many dangers, toils, and snares. We have already come. We got the scars to show. We got the memories to show that we've been through some stuff. But God, you've been ever faithful. You've been ever good. You've been ever reliable. Oh God and always on time. And tonight we just bless you. Tonight we just magnify you. Tonight we just glorify you. Tonight we just exalt you. Tonight we just extol your matchless name. We praise you, mighty God. We lift your book, King of Kings. We lift your book, King of Glory. 
Somebody's enemies are dispersing as we speak. Why? Because as God is lifted up, as God arises, enemies scatter. Lord God, they came in one way, but they are they are going out seven ways. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight, Lord God Almighty, that as we make up in our minds to lift you up, as we make up in our minds to make you our only focus, as we make up in our minds to worship you tonight, Lord God Almighty, come on down in our midst, come on down in our presence, come on down in our house, come on down in our cars, Lord God Almighty, we invite you to come now. We invite you to come here. We invite you to be, oh God, among us this evening. Lord God Almighty, by ourselves, we are nothing. By ourselves, we are nobody. But with you, Lord God Almighty, we are more than conquerors. With you, mighty God, you we are, Lord God Almighty, victorious again and again and again and again we praise your name we magnify your name we salute your name we shabak your name I know you may not be feeling well in your body but I ask you now to give him a sacrifice of praise I know you may not be feeling well ah oh God but give him up that sacrifice that sacrifice that sacrifice sacrifice of praise. I know you've had a long day. Ah, the rain, hallelujah, has hindered your progress today. But will you give him, will you join me tonight to give the Lord a sacrifice of praise. Lord God Almighty, from the place of brokenness, we praise you. From the place of pain, we praise you. From the place of distress, we praise you from the place of delay. We praise you from the place of indifference. We praise you from the place of disappointment. We praise you from the place of detours. We praise you, Lord God Almighty. Your word says, In everything, give thanks. We give you thanks tonight. Thank you for the mountain, Lord God. Thank you for the valley, Lord. Lord God, thank you for the doors that was open. Thank you, God, for the doors that were closed. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. For the turn downs. Thank you, mighty God, for the turn ups. Thank you, mighty God. Oh, Father, for the appointments. Thank you, mighty God, for the disappointments. Lord, in everything, we choose tonight to give you thanks. Our answer is not here yet, but we give you thanks. The bill has not been paid yet, but we give you thanks. The enemy is still talking, but we give you thanks. Lord, the situation doesn't seem like it's changing, but we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks tonight. We give you thanks tonight. We give you thanks tonight. Ma Roshere Bekete Shebaha, Jede Bekendo Shorobo Shataha, Roger Tebe Beke Shataha, Ranje Kete Shetebe Ketchoto, Roger Teba Babas Beketchaya, Red Jetebe Beke Shataha, Rud Jetebe Bekonchoto, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we praise you, mighty God. We lift you up, King of Glory. We magnify your everlasting father you are great and you are greatly to be praised you are great 
and there is none like you. You do miracles so great. You do miracles so great. Lord God, for every brother and sister on this line, every one of them, oh God, is a representation of miracles. Lord God Almighty, you brought us all, oh God Almighty, through some terrible things. You've caused us to run through troops. You've caused us to leap over walls. You've brought us here. You've brought us a mighty long way. Lord God, if man had their way, we would have been under the ground today. But God Almighty, your hand, oh God, hindered. Your hand turned back the death assignment. Your hand canceled that cancer. Your hand turned back, oh God, that debilitating disease. Your hand of mercy, your hand of grace keeps us. Oh God, it's only by your mercy. It's only by your grace while we are alive tonight. And so, Father, we choose to bless you. Father, we choose to lift you up. Father, we choose to magnify your name. Father, we choose to exalt you. Father, we choose to extol your name. Father, we choose to give you glory. Lord, there is none like you. Lord, there is none like you. Lord, there is none who competes with you. You are God by yourself. Lord God, if there is ever such a thing as the foolishness of God, Lord God Almighty, it's still wiser than the collective wisdom of all of mankind. Lord, we just bless you. Lord, we bless you. As the originator, we bless you. As the architect of creation, we bless you. As the life giver, we bless you. As the life source, we bless you. As the all in all. Almighty oh, God, we lift you up tonight. Almighty oh, God, we praise you tonight. Almighty oh, God, we worship you tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Let your name be lifted up. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be exalted amongst the nation. Let your name be exalted even amongst the heathen. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the King. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Praise be to the name of our Master. He is worthy tonight. Worthy of all glory. Worthy tonight of all honor. Worthy tonight of all worship and praise. Lord God Almighty, oh hallelujah. The word of God says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. He whom he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. Oh Lord, let there be a praise tonight. Oh hallelujah. What if all, all we do tonight is praise him. What if all we do uh, is show off uh, on the God, uh, show off about our God, uh, the God of heaven, uh, the God, uh, hallelujah, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, uh, the God of Elijah and Elisha, uh, the God of Moses, uh, the God of John the Baptist, uh, the God of Paul. Uh, Lord, uh, oh, if, what, what if all we do tonight uh, is just give him praise, uh, is just give him honor, uh, is just give him worship. What if all we do tonight is say thank you Jesus. Lord you're awesome. Lord you're excellent. Lord you're worthy. Worthy, worthy, worthy of all our praise. All the glory and all of the honor. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 We bless you mighty God. Hallelujah. We exalt you mighty God. Hallelujah. We shall back you king of glory. We shall back you Lord of lords. You are good and your mercies endureth forever. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Praise be to the name of the Lord.
He is good tonight. He is worthy of our praise tonight. He is worthy of our honor tonight. There is none like our God. There is none who compete with our God. There is none who come close to our God. He is God alone. He is God by himself. And tonight we lift up his name. Tonight we exalt his name. Tonight we extol his name tonight we magnify him hallelujah 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 for those who are just coming in this evening i want to greet you in the great and the matchless name of jesus christ our lord i want to greet you in the name of the king of kings and the lord of lords i want to welcome you to the most exciting a midweek evening. This is the evening of prayer. This is the evening when we call on the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the evening, hallelujah, when we have a date with our God and we tell him how awesome and excellent he is. Hallelujah. This is the evening, hallelujah, when we do not hold back, but we give him the honor. We give him the praise. We give him the glory. We magnify him above everything else. Hallelujah. This is the time, hallelujah, when we close the books on what occurred earlier in the day. Hallelujah. And we set our eyes, we set our eyes on Jesus. We look in his wonderful face. Somebody say, and the things of this world would go strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Hallelujah. We're going to sing that song tonight. Hallelujah. Turn your eyes on Jesus. On Facebook, on YouTube, on Zoom. We're going to sing that tonight. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of this world will go strangely dim in the light of his glory and his grace. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of this earth will grow strangely dim. In the light of his glory and grace, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face. And the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. One more time. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we praise you tonight. Lord, we magnify you tonight. Lord, we exalt and extol your name tonight. Lord, we recognize you as high and lifted up. Lord God Almighty, Father, amidst the noise 
amidst the chatter of this world, amidst, oh God, the competing thoughts, the competing ideas, we choose tonight to turn our eyes upon Jesus. We turn our eyes upon the man with the nailed, scarred hands. We turn our eyes to the man, oh God, with the scar in his side, hallelujah, and the nail prints in his feet. We turn our eyes to that man because he is our high priest that can be touched by the feelings of our infirmity. Hallelujah. We turn our eyes to the high priest, hallelujah, who have walked this earth lived in the flesh, hallelujah, experienced life as a man. And so tonight we turn our eyes to him. We turn our eyes to Jesus, hallelujah. We look to him, author and finisher of our faith. Tonight, Lord Jesus, as we come, we give ourselves to you. As we come tonight, Lord Jesus, we want to hear you your voice. We want to hear your sound. Lord God Almighty, we want to hear what you are doing, what you are saying in this time and in this season. Lord God Almighty, the things around us, oh God Almighty, are strategically positioned for us to fear and for us to doubt. But Lord God Almighty, we put on that tunnel tunnel vision tonight uh, and we look straight uh, we look to the hills uh, from whence cometh our help uh, we look to the uh, the God of our salvation uh, we look oh God almighty uh, to the lion uh, of the tribe of Judah uh, we look to the God uh, of hosts the God of armies uh, we look to, uh, we look to the God uh, that has never lost a battle uh, and and is not about to lose one. Oh God, as we come before you tonight, we recognize that there is no place like the presence of Almighty God. Doesn't matter where that place is, like Elijah, we may find that place to be up on a mountain, out in the elements, on Mount Carmel. Doesn't matter, Lord, as long as you are with us, Oh God, that's the best place to be. Somebody sitting in their car right now. Oh God Almighty, doesn't matter that they didn't get home. Lord God, the fact that they are with you, they are in the right place. Somebody's in their living room. Somebody's on their porch. Somebody's in their backyard. Somebody, oh God, is in their bedroom. Somebody may even be in the hospital room. But wherever we find ourselves tonight, because you are with us, God, we are in the right place. And so tonight we bless you. Tonight we exalt you. Tonight we magnify your great name. All praise, all glory, all adoration we give to you tonight. You are God. You are King. You are master. You are, oh, hallelujah. You are our way maker. You are, oh God almighty, our light in our darkness. You are our sustainer. You are our life giver. You are our source. In you we live and move and have our being. Somebody bless him tonight. Somebody lift him up tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody exalt him tonight. He is worthy. Come on, put those hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Come on, Zoom. Put some virtual hands together. Come on, Facebook and YouTube. Put those hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's worthy. He's worthy tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight, uh, amen, we are grateful to the Lord, amen, that one of his uh, great uh, servants, one of the God's general of uh, this era, 
hallelujah, in church history, amen, is on the line with us tonight, amen. Many know him, amen, all over the world, amen. He may very well be known uh, uh, more outside of America uh, than in America. Uh, he may be known around the world more than he's known here, but certainly he has been on uh, 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 TBN. He has been on many uh, networks sharing the gospel and sharing the power of God. Amen. I speak of none other, amen, than Dr. Charles Enderfon. Amen. Dr. Charles, are you on this evening? Amen. We're going to ask you, Dr. Charles, to unmute yourself. Uh, enable your audio, so, sir. Amen. Amen. I would love to see your face. We see, we see your name. We would love to see your face. Amen. Amen. While Dr. Charles uh, get on, amen, just want to give us a programming notice. Amen. Amen. Once, once uh, Dr. Charles gets on and uh, he speaks to us and pray over us, amen, uh, Sister Sharon Swaby will take up the moderating uh, duties, amen, and carry us through. Amen. Our counselors are online. Amen. Ready to pray. Amen. And ready to carry this. Amen. To new levels, new heights. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Dr. Charles, are you hearing me? Uh, can you speak? All right. So our folks are still working on the audio. Amen. Amen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, amen. If you've been on here for a few weeks now, amen. Amen. You know that, amen, the devil tries, amen, but ultimately the Lord, amen, brings us through, amen. So we're just going to press in tonight as this gets sorted out, amen. Every week, amen, we try to make uh, tweaks, amen, and every week we seem to, amen, get some kind of a challenge, amen. But um, we're waiting for Dr. Charles to join us again, amen, and uh, as, he, well, as soon as he gets in, Amen. We will have him go uh, forward with what the Lord has laid on his heart. Amen. Tonight, amen, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, uh, is, amen, an important night. Amen. Every time we gather to pray, it's an important night. And one of the things that I've been sharing with the church is that as we pray, we need to watch and pray. What am I talking about? We need to watch the news for the answers to our prayers. We need to watch what Congress is doing. We need to watch what the White, what's coming out of the White House. We need to watch what our governor is doing. Hallelujah. As we pray, as we pray for breakthrough, as we pray for racial equality, as we pray, hallelujah, for justice for all, as we pray these prayers, as we pray for revival to come to America, uh, we must watch the news and uh, we must look for the answers, hallelujah, to our prayers. We don't watch the news just to be uh, informed uh, about what the current affairs are, but we watch the news to see what God is up to. Uh, if we look, if we read between the lines, we will see the hand, we will see the fingerprint of God on the world in this season. All over the globe, to, all over the globe today, amen, people are praying uh, for these United States of America. Never in the history of our nation have we found so many uh, spending hours going on prayer uh, and fasting for this nation called United States of America. Hallelujah. You see, because as much as uh, we have ills and as much as we have problems and as much as we have things, uh, hallelujah, that we need to work on, hallelujah, this nation has been a blessing to many. Are you hearing me tonight? Amen. And so why we will not turn a blind eye to injustice, amen, and the things that we need to correct, we cannot uh, in the same breath turn a blind eye to the good that this nation has brought to so many nations and so many people who are here uh, from other nations. Uh, really, I don't want to get into the politics, amen, but all of us who are here, black and white alike, we came from other nations, amen. But this great land has been a blessing, amen, to all of us, and it is our duty to pray, amen, that the judgment will be withheld and that revival will come. 
that repentance will come to our land, uh, that repentance will come, will flow from the White House down to Congress, to the, the Senator, and, and even in the Supreme Court, all the way down to the governor and the mayors of our city. Uh, let, uh, hallelujah, righteousness, let righteousness, let righteousness, hallelujah, rise in the name of Jesus. Let righteousness rise in this land, hallelujah. And as justice rise, let righteousness rise with justice, hallelujah. As equality rise, let righteousness rise with equality. Because uh, justice without righteousness is not sustainable. Hear me, brothers and sisters, the heart of man is desperately wicked. Amen. We can legislate all we want, but if the heart is not changed, we're going to go right back to where we come from. So as we pray for justice, as we pray, hallelujah, for equality, may we never stop praying for righteousness and revival. Amen. Dr. Charles is here and he's representing, amen, the strong Nigerian culture. You can see the green in the background. Amen. Uh, Dr. Charles, amen. All you got to do now, sir, is unmute, and I believe you're good to go. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right, we are, we're working it out. We're working it out in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I don't know if our control can unmute him. So yes. you have to unmute me? Yes, you're good now, Dr. Charles. You're hearing you. Are you hearing it? Yes. Hello, hello, hello. So yes, you have sir. to unmute me? Yes, you're hearing you. We're hearing you. Hello, man of God. Hello, man of God. Man of God. You're hearing you. So can you hear me? Yes, sir. Go forward. Praise God. How are you, man of God? It's good to see you, Bishop. Yes, sir. Great to see you, sir. Amen. We just want to make sure we can get all the, the audio levels correctly. Yes. Okay. It's great on our side. Great on our side. Uh, how do I sound to you? I want to make sure it's clear because my audio is very low here. Just one yes. moment. Perfect. Alexa, pause. Okay. Okay, now let's let's see this. Um, can you? How is the how is the audio? It's it's good. It's good. Praise God. So how are you, Bishop? It's good to see you. It's good to join with everybody tonight. Yes, Praise sir. the name we're of the well. Lord. We're doing Amen. well. Amen. We are doing very well, and we're looking forward to an extraordinary time tonight. Praise yes. the name of the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. So, what man of God, where do we? Where are we? We were trying to connect, you, making sure all the audio was fine. But uh, thank God we have connected now. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. yes. So we know you are an extremely busy man of God, but uh, we wanna we wanna take from you a good twenty minutes for you to just lay on us what the Lord has laid on your heart um, for our church, for our city, and even for our nation. And uh, once you're through, just uh, sharing as the Lord lays on your heart then we'll just ask you to lead us maybe in uh three to five minutes of prayer um amen and, um, we would be grateful amen, amen. and uh, i want i want to thank bishop again for the opportunity given me and um the, the bible declares it says that knowledge and it talked about stability of our times is you have to do with revelation and wisdom has become the stabilities of our time. Those that have wisdom and knowledge will have stability in this time that we're facing. We are living in an unusual time and unusual days, and God is doing unusual things in this time. You know, something God, God spoke to me many times. He said, I want to do a new thing. I want to do a new thing. I want to do a good thing. I want to do a great thing. I see, God always moves in the midst of uh, a chaotic situation that's when god is first it, it, that's when god shows his power that's when god shows his power i believe that this time for the church the body of christ it is our greatest opportunity to see jesus glorified 
to see Jesus glorified. I believe that God is going to do something unusual, even among the churches. And then during the, the COVID-19 pandemic and all the close down and everything, God spoke to us to be in a season of acceleration. While the world is on pause, the kingdom is moving forward. In this time that we've had this pandemic, by the grace of God, we've been able to build a whole data center that is almost um, is what, between $2.5 million to $3.5 million in the midst of the pandemic. God is doing something unusual. The Lord spoke to us is that we operate by different rules, the rules of the kingdom of God. We are not fear-driven. We are purpose-driven. We are driven by the mission of the king today, and that is our mission today. So when the, when the churches, when, when, when the churches are, are told to do certain things, are we listening to what the Spirit of God is saying? The Bible says, he that has ear, hear what the Spirit is saying. Hear what the Spirit is saying. I believe that having that sensitivity in the Spirit would help the church move things forward. This is our greatest time of evangelism. In the midst of the situations happening among, you know, with a, the police situation, with a situation in the black community, with a situation in, uh, with the COVID-19, everything seems like it's crisis-driven and fear-driven. In the midst of that, the light will shine the greatest. The Bible says, you are the light of the world. Matthew tells us that, 5.14. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. This is not a time for the church to hide. This is not a time for the church to hide. It's a time for the church to rise up and provide solution to the world needs. At the beginning of the year, the Lord spoke to me on the cross overnight. He said to me that this year, 2020, was going to be the year of uncommon solutions. Now, for there to be uncommon solutions, there have to be uncommon problems. There has to be uncommon problems. So the Lord spoke to me because I heard a lot of people were saying this was going to be a time where he's got 2020 vision. I mean, that was too obvious. But God was preparing us that he was going to do something unusual. Those that will hear what the Spirit of God is saying will come out of this way ahead of the pack. The church should be the head and not the tail. The church should lead in the economic revival and renewal. In the midst of this pandemic, we have started many, many companies. In the midst of this pandemic, while everybody's slowing down, we were in, the, in our war room, in our prayer room, building new companies, building new ideas to supply a solution to our world. I believe that God wants the church to take the lead in those things. In the midst of fear, faith comes in and becomes the protocol of the day. I believe that God is doing something unusual. And when the, the Bible says men ought to pray and not faint, Luke 18, verse 1, men ought to always pray and not give up. The reason why we pray is to have access to solutions from heaven. The reason why we pray is to be able to impact the earth with heaven's atmosphere. The reason why we pray is to be able to take what God has provided for the world today through faith and declare it and change the situations around us. That's the reason why we pray. I mean, when we pray that, I mean, when we pray to God is to hear him. And when we hear him, we are supposed to demonstrate the prayers. We are supposed to demonstrate the answers. And that's what I believe that God wants to do today. God says he's going to do three things. He's going to do a new thing, a new thing. That means the world as we know it is changing, but the message of the gospel is still the same. The way of delivering the gospel is changing every day. Before they didn't have television, television came and we're able to reach more people. But God is about to do something new. There is a new sound that is coming from heaven today. When God is about to release a new thing on the earth, he will bring a new sound that will change the atmosphere. I believe that new sound is coming from the body of Christ. A man of God, I believe that this sound, New England, God is about to shake New England. Regionally, there is going to be uh, a renewal. Some, some of the people that no one has known, God is going to raise up to the top because they're coming with a freshness of the Spirit of God. These are the days of unusual manifestation. It is going to be happening in unusual manner. The things that we've never seen, we're going to be seeing in this day. 
tremendous miracles. In fact, I was just talking about yesterday a testimony from two weeks ago how a, a gentleman died four times and was raised back to life two weeks ago over the phone. He died four times. I believe that God is about to release something into the church, the signs of the supernatural like we've never seen before. Because these are the days we confront the enemy's intrusion into our, the earth's atmosphere. The kingdom is not backing down. What has happened is the enemy has been able to intimidate the church to almost a submissive position. Instead of the church becoming an essential service, we have relegated our service to just a social club. But that is changing. God is raising up another breed of people that are about to shake up the nations. The Bible says, why do the heathens rage? And why do they come up with things against God's anointed? See, no matter what happens, the kings of the world will come against what God is doing, but God is raising up another breed, another generation of people that will demonstrate the gospel. I believe that God wants to do a new thing. In other words, a new thing has no definition. That means what he wants to do, you cannot say it was done in the last revival. God is about to release something in this hour that the world has never seen. He's about to release it. That means it calls it a new thing. That means it cannot be defined. It is defined by the size of the revelation you have of your God. He's going to do something unusual in our cities. In fact, get ready, man of God. I see God moving you to a bigger building. Get ready. That building is going to be handed to you, and more people are going to come. Get ready. Get ready. God is about to release a bigger building to you. They are empty buildings. They are empty. They are donkeys tied up in your city. God is about to release it into the ministry. It is, con is coming. He's going to do a new thing. He's going to do a new thing. It has no definition. God is about to release something new, something, a new thing. And then he's going to do a great thing. The size of what God is about to do is far greater. That's number two. It's far greater than you can ever imagine. He's going to do a great thing. But God does the great things in the very simple ways because it's following his simple instructions. God is about to do a great thing. He is about to do. The Bible says there's no searching his greatness. There's no searching his understanding because he is about to do a great thing with the church. And with you, man of God, get ready. The Lord is speaking to you. Remove the limitations. Money is not the issue. None of those things are the issue because he's about to launch you and launch the church into another dimension. I see businesses starting up. I see things turning around. It is happening now. New things are taking place. For every loss, God is going to bring 10 to gain. I see a replacement. God is replacing. He's re bringing new, new and fresh people in that they have unwavering faith that are going to be building with you. You get ready. It's a new breed of people God is raising in this hour. It's raising a new, a, a new breed of people. So he's going to do a great thing. He's going to do a mighty thing, a great thing. And also he's going to do, he says he's going to do, first of all, a new thing. He's going to do a great thing. And he's going to do the third thing is he's going to do a good thing. A good thing. God is about to start doing something you've never seen. The Bible declares what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, what has never entered into. In other words, a generation has come and gone. The different generations that came have not seen what God is about to do in this hour. See, when we talk about revival, we want to talk about the Walsh revival. We want to talk about the Azusa Street revival. We want to talk. God says, I'm about to do something in this generation that has never been seen before. It's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a thing that the world has never seen. In other words, don't define what God is about to do based on the past. Because the thing he's going to do is going to break forth on all sides. I see a lot of wealth coming into the church, into the kingdom of God. Creativity is coming into the kingdom of God. We are going to be launching up new companies, new things to provide solution. Because this is the dawn of a new beginning for the church. We are entering into the greatest season of harvest. Men's hearts are failing for fear. 
people's hearts are failing for fear. But God is rising up a generation of people. The Bible says in Isaiah, arise and shine. For your light has come for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. It talks about great darkness has covered the earth. And even a greater darkness, the hearts of the people. He said, but the Lord shall arise within you. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6 says, for God will command the light to shine out of darkness. Now shines in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God that is in the face of Jesus Christ. For we have the treasures in earthen vessel. It is our season to shine. If there's something you're going to take in this moment is to know that a new thing, a good thing, a great thing is about to happen. And it is our season to shine. In the midst of the darkness, when it is darkest, that's when the light shines the brightest. We are going to be the solution that the world is looking for. And it's not going to be a religious solution. It's going to be a solution that is for this moment, for this time. People are about to go into the greatest time of harvest, and they're going to be seeing great things happening in families. I see family relationships being restored. I see relationships. The enemy has been attacking families. God is about to bring a move and the family arena. So man of God, woman of God, you guys get ready because I see there's going to be a resurgence of people committing to relationships. The world is looking for solutions. God is about to release that in this hour. It's starting tonight. Something is happening. Within hours, you're going to be hearing phone calls of people that are believing for big things and they're getting it happening. It's going to be testimony galore. It's going to be testimonies after testimonies is coming. I believe that the Lord is releasing this hour. God is about to take us to places where we've never been before. We've never been to those places. There's always a first time because God is about to release in this hour a new sound in the area of worship, a new sound in the area of business, a new sound in the area of, um, of um, government. There's a shaking taking place. There's a shaking taking place. So get ready. God is about to release things. I see, man of God, I was, I, as I was speaking, I could see a new building that is coming to you guys. Get ready. It's going to be handed to you. Hallelujah. They are empty places. The Lord says, just mark your territory. It's coming to you because there are people waiting to hand it to you. I was listening the other day. And God was speaking through uh, another gentleman. He was talking about how God gave them a whole casino for a church. They had built this big casino and they didn't know how, you know, they, they didn't know how to run the casino. And this church has been believing God for, for a place. And so the thought that the church was going to be, the, the casino was going to be about $50 million. But the, the casino did not take off. They built everything first class, not one foot in that casino. And the cold. There are a lot of Yes, Dr. Charles, I think we lost you again. We lost your audio. Yes, hear me? We want to make sure this audio is fine. Can you all hear me? Yeah, we're hearing you now, but we lost you for a moment there. Oh. You hear me now? Yes. Now, I'm talking about that. Uh, I was talking about the testimony. Did you hear the testimony about the building that was $50 million? Yes, the casino. That was handed to the church for yes. $2 million. Wow. God is about to, he is the great equalizer. What he is doing is he is, things have been built up for the church. And the church did not know it. These are donkeys tied up by a lot of people. God is releasing that in this hour. And it says, those that are bold in God. Yes. Uh, whenever, you, whenever you lean forward, the audio goes out. I'm not sure why. Okay, we want to make sure we get it straight. Can you hear me? Yes, we're hearing you now. Okay, uh, what I was saying was this. God is saying the bold ones are the ones that are going to 
receive those, those things I'm talking about. The bold one, those that are bold in God. Because this other season of the prophetic, God is releasing a new prophetic mantle on the earth. It will be very precise, and the church will be speaking into the church is going to be speaking to the city affairs. So this is a new day the church is coming into. The Bible says men ought to pray and not faint. This is the fundamental. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if the if your mic is running out of battery or something. Say that again. Yeah, I'm wondering if your mic is running out of battery. Um, yeah, there's a little sound and then um, we don't hear you. We want to make sure we can hear that. Well, can you hear me now? How yes. is it? I, I can hear you. I want to make sure that the audio, how is the sound right now? Yeah, it's better now. Okay, we want to make sure. I think the cable was twisted. Okay. Okay. So what I'm saying is God is going to release in this hour to those that are bold. Those that are bold in their God. These are the days to know who you are. When you're bold in God, God is going to do something incredible. He's going to give those to those that are bold. And also mention that there's a release of a prophetic mantle like we've never seen. The church is about to become the voice that the world is looking for. It's the kingdom in motion. I see that God is going to do something unusual. Unusual. So well, some of the things I see, man of God, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm coming into your area, your region in Massachusetts. I see, the, the, I see a conference with so many people that are not even believers, mayors, people coming in because they're looking for solution. Get ready to take the lead. Get ready to take the lead. The Lord is transitioning the church from being behind the walls to being the center stage of the affairs of the community. We're not only going to provide solutions, we're also going to take the lead in giving directions. It is the kingdom in motion now. Amen. A couple of days ago, the nation of, uh, I believe, um, Malawi just had a new president. And this gentleman was the general superintendent of the Assemblies of God's Church. And the Lord told him, get ready. You're making a transition. I want you to pass to the nation. He said, but Lord, I'm not into politics. He said, no, I want you to pass. You are going to pass to the nation. And this was his first time trying politics. And he's a president of Malawi. I believe that God is about to do the same thing here in the United States. And you'd be amazed. The people are waiting for the leadership, a clear voice. We want to pray. We're breaking the fear of COVID-19. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of fear and the spirit of death. Loose the people of God and let them go. In Jesus' name, there shall be no more debts in the kingdom. In the kingdom of God, there shall be no more debts. And we come against every financial pressure that has been on the body of Christ, to every member of the body of Christ. We come against that financial pressure. We destroy its hold over you. In the name of Jesus now, loose them. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I, I just want, I see a release of finances coming in now. A release of finances coming in now. Miracle signs and wonders coming to the church in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I see a wave of glory coming into the church like never before. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see bills being paid for, canceled. There is a forbearance coming. I hear almost like a jubilee coming. I hear that sound of freedom coming to the church. That burden is removed from the necks of the church. 
the church is about to enter a season of acceleration. Man of God, God is giving you unusual favor in your city. Unusual favor, not just favor, unusual favor. Because I see there is a meeting that's going to be coming up within the next 30 days with the city. The Lord said, I should tell you, you go and engage yourself, you join yourself to the chariot of government. Because when you join yourself to the chariot of government, they're going to listen to your voice. You're going to be in the corridor of, corridors of power. You will show up and God will give you a door, a strategic door to open. And you'll speak and that will change things. You are the representation of the kingdom in your domain. Get ready. And I see God is restoring things even in the body. I see there's a fresh wind coming in. I see there are a lot of fresh people coming in. A lot of young people are going to come, be coming in. There is a hunger in the spirit that is coming in. The next six months, man of God, get ready. It is going to be phenomenal in the church. Amen. The help you're praying for is coming in now. Amen. There's going to be consistency. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I mentioned three things. He's doing a new thing. God says some of the old plans you've had, set them aside. Dream bigger. Don't dream with limitations. And when you dream, he will fulfill it. It says he's going to do a great thing. God is saying uh, he's daring you to walk on the edge of great, greater things. Whatever you want to do, man of God, you've got to do it on the large scale. You want to have, it's going to be big. You need not worry about what, what it seems like people are not meeting, but things are changing now. I see a new, a new wind that's coming into the ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you can hear me. Yes, sir. We're hearing you. Okay. So I want to pray for the people of the church. Yes. I mentioned that great thing, a new thing, and a good thing. Yes. It's going to take you where you've never been. Yes. He's going to show you what you've never seen. And he's going to do with you what you've never done. Mm. Get ready. This is your season of acceleration. It is going to happen very quickly. And I can see some of the people that are watching right now. This is the Sharon. Get ready. There was supposed to be a shaking in the office. God is about to turn that around because of you. The things are happening. It's God is changing that already. There is stability coming. All the fears that has been in that place is changing. It's a wind of change coming in, but the fears are gone. Faith is coming in now because of your voice. Yes. And Michael, get ready. God has opened up the business bigger. Get ready. God is opening up. Sonia, I see, I see an increase coming to you. I see that it seems like something was blocking what God spoke to you. It is coming to you. Hallelujah. It's coming to you. It's coming in weeks. It's coming in weeks. The church is going to walk into unusual inheritance. In the name of Jesus, we decree that tonight. We decree that tonight. God is giving you unusual favor. I see there are people in your neighborhood, in your community, that God is going to link you with, but it's going to be strategic linkage. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So what God put in my heart is to encourage the body of Christ to tell, to tell you that this is the season of the greatest time of harvest. There were souls being saved all over the place. The Lord is saying, emphasize evangelism again. It's a time to win souls. The world is hungry for the Jesus to proclaim. And there will be mighty miracle signs and wonders. It is going to be a galore of testimonies. Yes. 
financially, physical miracles, emotional healing, restoration of families. I see even children that were wayward coming back home. Thank you, Lord Jesus. People that walked away from the Lord are coming back home. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is bringing the sons and the daughters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is bringing the sons and the daughters that walked away. Those that went into different things, God is bringing them back. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's bringing them back. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Woman of God, River Michaela, get ready. God is going to do something unusual. I see favor on all sides. Favor on all sides. Hallelujah. There, there are connections that I see in the spirit that is, is going to come concerning business aspect of things. That is about to take up. I see things online taking off. I see a lot of other things happening. God is sending you the help you need to build that up. It's happening already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's happening already. It's a new season. You're entering a season of overflow, 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 overflow. Get ready. It's a season of overflow. Hallelujah. It's good to see the woman of God. It's a season of overflow. Season of overflow. I see connections coming to you from all sides. There's some people that you're waiting for phone calls for a couple of months. They're going to make the phone call now. They've been waiting for you. This is the season. Coming into July, this is going to be a July of, I see a lot of movements in the right direction. So things are about to happen very quickly. Things are about to happen very quickly. For some reason, I see a building outside the church, like an office building outside the church. I see that has to do with business. It becomes a business center. God is about to do something unusual in that place. I see a lot of entrepreneurial development coming out of that place. It's a new season. It's a new season. Hallelujah. So I believe that if God is about to do something in the world, the first thing he does is it brings a new sound. There is a new sound coming into the world. The messages are going to be different. It's going to be fresh from heaven. And it's spoken a few words, it will have more impact. A new sound in terms of music is coming into, into the church. Yeah. Mm. I see new songs being written. There's a new excitement coming to the church. It's changing the atmosphere of the city. It's changing the atmosphere of the city. The workplaces, I see things happening in workplaces that people are going to be, even on, on live stream, things are going to be happening. Mm -hmm. Get ready. But I see people also coming back into the to, to, to fellowship together. The season of people being put aside is coming to a close. The fear of COVID-19 is broken. The power of it is broken. Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Very soon, all the highs you're hearing, everything is going to drop. Everything is going to drop. So I want to encourage the church. There's a new sound that's come. There's a sound from heaven. It's coming quickly. It's coming quickly. There's a wind that is blowing. There's a season of refreshing coming. God is about to unleash his glory on the church. That glory will be seen by all. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And man of God, for some reason, I'm looking at even, um, I'm looking at Jamaica. There is going to be a direct connection from what you guys are doing here to the government of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Influence. Mm -hmm. You will be a sort of voice from the ministry to speak into the affairs of that nation. A strategic connection is coming. Amen. Amen. Because God is expanding that influence. I see something also happening in the New York area, in Connecticut area. Mm -hmm. Influence is spreading all through those areas. I see pastors and people in government coming to you. 
uh, the, the Holy Spirit speaking, said, Man shall, he said, kings shall come to your light. Influential people are coming to you. And when they come, they're bringing their very best and they'll lay it at your feet. And the Lord says, the bold ones are the ones that possess what God has said. Amen. I want to pray for the whole church that God will increase you with the increase of God and on all sides, that in everything you do, you will prosper, that nothing that comes to your hands will falter. It will exceed whatever dreams you've had because God is taking you to another dimension of glory. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. 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 I believe that this is the new season we're entering in. Just to share a testimony, I was talking about what God had done with us here. We decided in 2020, I told the team, we're going to build out a new place. In five weeks, we built out a 25,000 square feet of space during the pandemic. It has created more companies, more opportunities for our people during the pandemic. We have more people doing business on their own, especially now. And the Lord says, he's setting this as an example of what will happen in a crisis the greatest companies are about to be formed. Now, since the Sharon knows one of the companies that we started called Empower, which is like this Zoom we're using, we have our own company that competes with Zoom. Not only that, we have all the things we have done that we are building, all, or building up also. I believe that the church has come to the days of unusual solutions. I want to thank God for the people that are calling in or that are watching right now. Whatever need you have, if you need to be healed, we want to pray for your healing right now. Everyone that is sick, we want to come against every sickness. I rebuke every infirmity in your family, in your life. Loose now in Jesus' name. Be gone. There can be no sickness in this family. There can be no sickness. I rebuke every weakness in your body. Be healed in Jesus' name. I command your lungs to be clear. That heaviness in the legs be gone. Arthritis be gone. The heart condition be healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness with the digestive tract, with the urinary tract, Wherever it is, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. I believe that God is doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. Man of God, get ready. God is restoring everything. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Dr. Charles. I appreciate you. Yes, sir, and uh, we greatly appreciate you coming in and uh, giving giving us much of your time. Um, and um, we we embrace the word. Um, the word confirms the word on Sunday. Um, and uh, those who have an ear to ear, to hear, will hear. And um, and we are going forward in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, I love you guys very much. And thank you for having me come. Hallelujah. Yes, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And um, I'm just, Norik, you get ready. I see there's money with hell from you that has been released to you now. You've been waiting for that money to come. Get mm -hmm. ready. That money is coming to you. This, this week we're in, get ready. You're going to get that money you're waiting for. You've spoken to the Lord. You said, Lord, if you can release this to me, I want to honor you. And God is going to release that to you. It's a new day. It's a new day. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Dr. Charles. Man, God, love you. Yes, I sir. love you guys. Thank you for having me. And uh, I know you guys are continuing with the prayer. I really appreciate you guys. And I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, man of God. Love you. Yes, sir. Love you, Please man of God. Love all of you. Mm, I love you guys. <laughs> love you. <laughs> I miss you. 
Okay. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, brothers and sisters, amen. We are going forward, amen, in the name of the Lord. Amen. I, I would strongly suggest that um, as a church, we re-watch and re-listen uh, this particular broadcast. Um, I would suggest that we re-watch, re-listen to the, the sermon on Sunday, God, um, and um, go back and look at um, even Pastor Sam, Pastor Sam from Nigeria, uh, the expressions that he had for us and for our church. Um, the, the, Lord, the Lord has a way of confirming his word um, in unique ways. And we as a people uh, must embrace the word of the Lord. At this moment in time, amen, I'm going to have uh, Sister Sharon Swaby. Amen. She's going to come on and she's going to um, have um, just uh, announce the, the, uh, the, those who will be coming on to pray one after the other. Um, and then close us out. Amen. Um, um, many of you know uh, that today is um, uh, Malia's birthday and she's loaned us out um, for an extended period of time. Um, but we know the Lord is going to bless her um, and her parents are going to bless her as well. And who knows, maybe some of you will bless her as well. Um, but um, we're just going to go forward. Amen. In prayer. We don't, want, we don't want to interrupt this momentum. So I'm going to release Sister Sharon to just move us along by the grace of God. God bless you all. Sister Sharon. Praise God. Thank you so much, Bishop. God bless you, man of God. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for this moment, Lord God, as we go into prayer, Lord God. We just give you glory and honor, Father. Father, we thank you for the new thing. Lord God, we thank you, my God, that, Father, you are flipping, Lord God, the pages, Lord God. Father, you are flipping, my God, Lord God, those pages, Lord God. And right now, Lord God, Father, Lord God, as you're flipping, Lord God, those pages, you're flipping the pages, Lord God, of our city, Lord God, of our nation, Lord God. And Father, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, my God, that Father, you're flipping the pages, Lord God, Lord God, of our financial situation. At this time, we're going to invite a great woman of God to come on to pray for our nation. I want to invite Reverend Tony tonight. She is going to be praying for revival in our city and in our nation. Mm -hmm. Right after Reverend Tony, we're going to have Dr. Sonia Denal, and she's going to be praying for the legislative change and the curriculum change um, reflecting racial equality. So we just thank God for what he's doing right now. We give him glory, <laughs> praise, and honor, and I just hand over to the woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Reverend Tony. Hallelujah. Thank you, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight on uh, this night of prayer. Uh, do not take it lightly that you are here. Uh, you are all intercessors called to intercede. Uh, as Sister Sharon said, that we will be praying for our city, revival in our city. As the word went forth, uh, we need to grab hold of this new thing, of this great thing, of this big thing that God's about to do. And we will pray also for our region as well as our nation. I want to share a scripture with you. It's Psalm 85, verse 6, and it says, you it says, will you not yourself revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Hallelujah. Tonight, we're going to pray for that revival, and we're going to pray and trust and believe God that we get excited about the things that he's about to do in our city. Hallelujah. Join me in prayer. Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify your name. Heavenly Father God, tonight, dear Lord God, you are our sovereign God. You are the great I am. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Heavenly Father God, tonight, dear Lord God, we seek your face one more time. 
We seek you, Lord Jesus, Father God, Lord God, for revival in our city. Lord God, we call the city of Springfield before you. Heavenly Father, dear Lord God, as you said, behold, dear Lord Jesus, Father God, you are about to do a new thing. Lord God, spring, feel, Lord Jesus, Father God. Things are about to spring forth. Heavenly Father God, we come against, dear Lord God, the witches and the warlocks. We come against those, dear Lord God, Father God, who have held, dear Lord Jesus, our gates for so long. Lord God, as a church tonight, we take back our city. We take back our children. We take back our businesses. We take back our finances. Hallelujah. Father God, we pray, oh Lord Jesus, dear God, that salvation, dear God, must come forth, dear Lord God. We pray, oh God, for those lost souls, dear Lord God. Heavenly Father God, as we pray, oh Lord God, for revival, dear Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father God, prepare our hearts, dear Lord God. Prepare our minds, dear Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father God, the scripture says to open our mouth wide and you will fill it. So Lord God, tonight, dear Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that as we open our mouths, Lord Jesus, that your word will be filled in our mouths tonight. Heavenly Father God, as we go forth, as we see those, dear Lord God, that will meet there on the streets, in our jobs, Lord God, whatever medium, Lord God, we will meet them, even in governmental places, dear Lord God. Lord God, we pray, oh Lord God, that our words, dear Lord God, will carry weight. Lord God, Father God, because it's the words that you have given, dear Lord God, us. Father God, we pray, oh God, for the joy and the peace of our city, Lord God, to come back. We speak, dear God, to the prosperity, Lord God, of every household, dear Lord God. We pray, oh Lord God, Father God, that there'll be no more drain, Lord God, no more debt, dear Lord Jesus, Father God. Lord God, we come against even the crime. Lord Jesus, dear God, we pray, oh God, that those spirits are silenced and bound in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Heavenly Father, God, your people will live. Lord God, your people will prosper. Lord God, your people will praise your name. Heavenly Father, God, we move there, Lord God not only in our city, dear Lord God, as you, dear God, do a new thing, as you do a great thing, as you do a big thing, but Lord God, we speak, dear God, to the expansion, dear Lord God, Father God of our nation, Lord God. Lord God, we pray, oh God, Father God, that as our nation, Lord God, even their God has been affected, dear Lord God, with this pandemic. Lord God, we speak, Lord God, forth right now, Lord God. Father God, that there will be a shift in the atmosphere. Lord God, we pray, oh God, that those numbers, dear Lord God, of those who have been infected, dear God. Father God, that there will be, oh Lord God, a decrease, dear Lord God. We pray, oh God, for those, dear Lord God, who are, are laid up in the hospital beds. Lord God, we pray that your Holy Spirit that your anointing, Lord God, will touch their God every bed, every patient, Lord God. And Lord Jesus, Father God, that as you move their God, Father God, through those hallways, as you move their Lord God, Father God, in those rooms, healing their God must happen. Lord God, we pray, oh Lord God, that our, your people, Lord God, as we as your children will walk with boldness and confidence, Lord God. Lord God, Father God, that when we pray, oh Lord God, Lord God, the atmosphere must shift. Lord Jesus, Father God, God, every devil, their God, must flee. Heavenly Father, God, tonight, dear Lord God, we pray, Lord God, for our region, dear Lord Jesus. Father God, raise, dear God, up the intercessors. Heavenly Father, God, let them no longer be silent. Dear Lord God, this is a time that our voices as intercessors must be heard. Heavenly Father, God, we pray, oh Lord God, that those things, dear Lord God, which were hidden, dear Lord God, Father God, that you'll bring them to light. We pray, oh Lord God, Father God, that we'll be, oh God, ahead, dear Lord God, because you've already spoken your word to us. And Lord God, all we need to do, Lord God, is to pray for the manifestation and wait. Dear Lord God, we do not take this time lightly. So Lord God, we pray, oh God, for a protection over, dear God, our city, we pray, we pray, oh God, for protection, dear Lord God, over our region. We pray, oh God, for protection, dear God, over our nation. Heavenly Father, dear Lord God, raise our faith up like never before. We pray, oh Lord God, Father God, that we'll walk in the power, the might, and the anointing that you've already given us. Dear Lord God, we thank you for hearing our prayer tonight. And we rejoice, dear Lord God, as our spirits are revived as our city is revived, 
as our region is revived and as our nation is revived. Send us leaders, dear Lord God, that will grab on and hold on to this revival. Dear Lord God, because change is coming, change must come and change has come. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Glory to God. We just thank God for that prayer. We thank God for his anointed servant. We just thank and praise God for this night because this is the evening that God has preordained before the foundation of this world that we should gather together on this very prayer line at this very hour, at this very moment to seek his face on behalf of the topics that he has laid on Pastor Dobbin's heart. We thank God for the powerful word that came from the man of God all the way from Africa. People are sacrificing and going deeper and doing above and beyond so that in this season, in this time, we can reap the harvest that God has prepared for us as a people. Let's just turn to the word of God. Learn to do good, the word of God says in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17. Seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, and please the widow's cause. And again, that is Isaiah 1, verse 17. The Bible is very clear about justice. The Bible is very clear about the legislation and the rules of the land that need to line up with the word of God. So tonight, we are going to touch and agree across the airways, across social media, across YouTube, across Zoom. We're going to touch and agree and believe that that God's word will come to pass. You know, I was thinking the other day, there would be no civil rights movement if it were not for the church of God. There would be no civil rights movement if it was not for the man and women of God who are not afraid to put their faith first and trust God for justice in this land. So let's pray again and ask God to raise up the church to take the, its rightful place in this struggle for justice, in this struggle for legislation, in this fight to get the justice that people in this United States of America deserve according to the word of God. Then we're also gonna pray about the system, the educational system that is sometimes just Throat with institutionalized racism. We just ask God to sever that school to prison pipeline to dismantle it. We're also going to ask God to touch the hearts and minds of those who make the decisions about the curriculum that they would be aware of the need for a curriculum that will reflect the true contributions of African Americans and Black people in this nation. Let's bow our heads and pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we just thank and praise you for another opportunity to call on your name. Father God, right now in the precious, holy, matchless name of your son, Jesus Christ, we know that you hear our prayers. We know that you promise to answer our prayers. And Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, we take you at your word. Father God, you told us that we, my Father God, are the ones, my Father God, who need to make sure that justice being served in this country. So God, we ask you right now as children of God, you've used the church before. We ask that you would use us again. You've used the church before to change legislation that was not of you, my God, that was contrary to your love and contrary to your purpose. You've used the church, my God, to turn it around before and you can use the church to do it again. So God, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray Pray, ask, and believe that you, my God, will take control of the hearts and minds of those who will make decisions in the legislature. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus for the branch of government that will make bills and laws and rules and public acts that will sign, my Father God, laws into, into, into being, dear Father God. We ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you would touch the hearts, my God, of those, my Father God, who are the decision makers, my God, those my Father God, who determined, my Father God, what rules, my God, exist in this land. Oh God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus for another mighty move of God when it comes to the government. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus that you would open the hearts and minds, my God, of those, my God, men and women, my Father God, who will have to make decisions, my God, concerning justice. We pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would give them a heart, my God, to serve you 
you and to do what is right, my God. We pray that you would constrain, my God, the lawmakers, constrain, my God, those who sit in government, my God, in the seats of decision-making, my God. Constrain, my God, the hearts and minds, my God, of those, my God, who will sign the bills and the laws and the public acts, my God, into being. We pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would constrain them to do according to your perfect will. Do according to your word. Do according to your purpose. Do according to your plan. God, right now in the name of Jesus, turn their hearts towards you, God, in the name of Jesus. And we pray that you would raise up men and women of God to run for office, my God. Raise up men and women of God who are sold out to you, who are salt and light, my God, who will infiltrate government, my God, and take seats of position and authority and power, my God, and use their God-given authority to make laws and rules and make decisions that line up with your word and your will and your plan and your way. God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray and you would dismantle and destroy the school to prison pipeline. And Father God, so often that school to prison pipeline is alive and well, my God, because people, my Father God, contribute to the building of it. So God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would help those of us who are in the field of education to take our rightful place, my God, and to stand in the gap, my God, and to make decisions that are right and pleasing before you, dear God, concerning the curriculum. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would help us to see and find, my God, and purchase, my God, the curriculum that is balanced, my God, a curriculum, dear Father God, that shows the contributions, my God, of great men and women, my Father God, who are people of color, my God, who are black, my God, and brown, my God, and of African descent. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, help us, my Father God, to stand up, my Father God, in the face of opposition and make decisions according to your will and your way to expose all children to the greatness, my God, that is found, my God, in the African-American and Black community, that all children can be exposed, my my God, to the rich history, my God, and the con contributions, my God, the indispensable, indisputable contributions that African Americans and those of African descent have made to the building and the establishment of this great nation. God, I pray in the name of Jesus, though those of us in education may be opposed, my God, because this is something new and something very different, we ask that you would give us the boldness, my Father God, to stand our ground and to purchase this curriculum and implement it, my Father God, with fidelity. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, that you would touch the hearts and minds even now of the teachers who will teach it and touch the hearts and minds even now of the children who will receive it. And we will be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise because it's due unto you and you alone. In Jesus' name, we pray, ask, and believe tonight. And we expect, my God, to see the manifestation of the answer according to your will and your word and your way. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We want to thank amen. Reverend Sonia. We, we want to thank Dr. Sonia Denal and we want to thank Reverend Tony for just praying for revival and praying, you know, to tonight, those two awesome prayers. If there is a person to pray, there is a God to answer. And we thank God tonight for this platform. The Holy Spirit is here. The atmosphere is saturated. We thank God for this opportunity. We want to thank all our viewers out there on Facebook. We want to thank our viewers on Zoom. We want to thank our viewers that are on YouTube tonight. I want you to bear with us because we're going to go deeper. Heaven is pleased tonight. And we have a few more items on the agenda that we must pray for. As Reverend Tony said, this is a time when God is calling the intercessors. Your voice is important. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. But an open mouth is an open destiny. So we thank God for what he's doing tonight. We thank the Holy Spirit that he is here. We thank God that we can come and we can pray tonight. At this time, I want to invite 
uh, Dr. Michael Ellison. He's going to come. He's going to be praying for, for first responders. He is in the medical field. He is out there on the front line. And we thank God. We thank God for what they're doing. But of course, the man of God said, God gave us boldness and not a spirit of fear. Right after um, right after Dr. Ellis, we're going to invite Reverend Arvo Brown, and he's going to come to pray for our pastors and pray for our or, or visionaries at Celestial Praise, Bishop Andrew Dobbin and First Lady Michaela Dobbin, and also for pastors all in the Central region, and of course in Southern New England. Um, they need our prayers right now. A lot of pastors are discouraged, but we are called to pray. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. So Dr. Ellis, I'm gonna hand over to you, sir, and we are going to touch and agree with heaven this evening. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Amos 4 says, he is here. The one who forms the mountains, creates the wind, and reveals his thoughts to man. The one who makes the dawn out of darkness and strides on the heights of the earth. The Lord, the God of the armies, is his name. And tonight, I'm here to pray for the first responders, those in the medical field and those in other fields. And I want us tonight to understand that no matter what is going on around us, God is in charge. He is the one that understands what we don't understand. He is the one that knows all the answers. And tonight we're gonna to leave it in his hands. Father, tonight I come to you, thanking you, O oh God, for the knowledge that you have given, O oh God, to our doctors, for the knowledge, Lord, that you have given to our nurses, Lord, for the hands of God that you've given, O oh God, to our doctors and nurses, Lord, to our CNAs, our LPNs, O oh mighty Father, those of oh God who are working, O oh God, in the nursing homes, O oh mighty Father, those of oh God who are cooking, O oh God, those who are cleaning, O oh God, in those institutions, O oh mighty Father, I give you praise, O oh God, for them, O oh mighty Father, because I thank you, Lord, that they have intellect, I thank you, O God, that they have, O God, arms, O God, and hands, O God, that can move and do, O God, the work that so many do not do, Lord. I thank you, mighty Father, for the people, mighty Father, who drive buses, O God, and get people to and fro, for the train conductors, mighty Father, for the train drivers, mighty Father, for the bus drivers, Lord, for the taxi drivers, Lord. I bring them, O God, to you this morning, this evening, mighty Father, and I thank you for them, mighty Father. Mighty Father, for the sanitation workers, Lord, I thank you, O God, that they are there, O Mighty Father, doing work, O Mighty Father, going out there every day. These, Lord, are the people, O God, who go out there, the EMS workers, Lord, the firefighters, O Mighty Father, the policemen, Lord. They are the ones, O God, who go out there every day, O Mighty Father, face to God with people who may be sick during this time of COVID-19, O Mighty Father. And tonight, O Mighty Father, I bring them before you, God, Asking you, mighty Father, to protect them, O oh God, as they do your work, Lord. Your sons and your daughters, O oh mighty Father, who are in those fields, Lord, protect them, O oh mighty Father. Guide them, oh mighty Father, where to go, Lord, how to do their work, who to speak to, Lord, where to turn left and right, O oh mighty Father. I pray, God, that you give them the knowledge, O oh mighty Father, they need to do their jobs correctly. That your hand will be upon them, O oh mighty Father, and guide them, O oh mighty Father, as they do their work. There are, God, so many things that we don't understand that's going on right now, Lord, with this disease. There are things, Almighty Father, we have no idea, oh God, how to even approach it, but you know, Lord. And I pray, God, that you will disseminate, oh God, that knowledge to your people, Almighty Father, that you will disseminate, oh God, the understanding that we need, oh God, to combat, oh God, this disease, Lord. Almighty Father, you've given, oh God, this nation, oh God, leaders on a task force, Lord. Dr. Fauci, Dr. Burke, Dr. Redfield. And I pray, God, that you will direct, oh God, their thoughts, my Father. Your word says that you direct our thoughts, Lord. I pray that you will direct their thoughts, Lord, so they can inform the people of this nation how, oh God, to approach things right, Lord. Those people, oh God, who are making vaccines, oh God, and on the front lines in that era, Lord, I pray, God, that you will direct them, oh God, how to do and what to do, my Father, to keep us safe, my Father. But Lord, these people who are going to work every day, they, Lord, get faced with depression 
time and time again. I pray, oh God, that you will comfort them, Lord, that you, oh God, will help them not to give up, Lord, not to, God, to have faint hearts to my Father and to stay, oh my Father, to the course, to do, oh God, what they have been assigned to do, oh my Father. And I pray, God, that when they get weary, that you will comfort them, Lord. When they get, oh God, depressed, oh God, you will be there with an encouraging word, oh my Father, that you will send, oh God, the right person at the right time, oh my Father, to comfort them, Lord. And I pray, Almighty Father, that as we as a nation go through this, oh God, that you will be there right beside your people, oh my Father, guiding and directing us, Lord. Those of us in the church, oh my Father, I pray that you will protect us even the more, oh my Father. I pray, God, that there will be miracles around us, oh my Father, that your people, oh God, will come to know you because of the miracles that you will do during this time of crisis. That your first responders, Lord, will be able to give a testimony to others that you are a healer, oh God, that you, oh God, are working this out, Lord, to encourage others, to let them know, oh God, that you, oh God, are still in the miracle working business, Lord. I pray, God, that souls will be saved by these testimonies, that people, oh God, will be healed, Lord, by these testimonies, Lord, and that your name above all will be glorified, oh my Father, during this time of the crisis, Lord. Lord, we know that you are in charge of all things. So I pray, God, that you will just keep your people safe, Lord. Keep your first responders safe, Almighty Father. I leave them in your hands right now, Lord, asking you, oh God, to continually protect and guide them, Almighty Father. The school teachers, Almighty Father, who are getting ready to start school, oh God, in September, and those who may even be in summer school, oh God, I pray, God, that you will protect them and guide them. Encourage them, oh God. Let them know how to speak, oh God, to their students, oh God, about the things that they are facing, oh Lord. Lord, I leave everything in your hands so that you will get all the glory and all the praise, of oh God, from your first responders and that it will spread throughout this nation, my Father, giving you glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Blessings. Um, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15, the word of the Lord says, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Tonight, we are here to pray for the pastors in our city and also in the surrounding regions in southern New England and also for the church of God as an organization. We know that during this time, many pastors are faced with challenges, but we're praying and trusting God Almighty that he will encourage them, give them wisdom from above, give them the ability to be bold in the face of challenges, give them the ability to speak at such a time like this, because the world is watching and looking to the church for leadership. And as the pastor in the fund was saying, the church basically have to take their rightful place at this time. So praying that God will cover pastors, you know, and give them, you know, what they need for such a time as this. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We give you glory and we honor you. We celebrate you, Lord God, because you are the God we can always trust and depend on. Father, my God, your word says, call me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things that you know not of. Lord, oh God, Father, your word, Father, God never fails. And that's why we come to you tonight, my God. We come to you, Lord, because Lord, you said in your word that you'll grant us shepherds after your own heart. And Lord, oh God, we thankful, my God, my Lord, for the pastors that you have given us, Father God, my Lord, right here in celestial praise, church of God. Father, in the city of Springfield here, we thank you for Bishop Andrew Darbin, and we thank you for First Lady Michaela Darbin. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for their unparalleled leadership and their example, Father God, during this time, Father, and how they have led, Father God, with integrity over the past 10 years. 
Father, we thank you, O Lord God Almighty, because indeed, O Lord God Almighty, their example is infectious, O Lord God. And Father, because of this, we can see the rippling effect, Father God, not only in the congregation, but also throughout the city, Father God throughout the state, my God, and throughout the nation, Father God, of the United States and the nations of the world. Father, we bless you, O Lord God Almighty, for them. We pray to you, O Lord God, that you will, Father God, cover them, Father God, undergird them, O Lord God Almighty. We pray thee in the name of Jesus Christ that you give them boldness, O Lord God Almighty, to do the work of God as you have, Father God, orchestrated, my God, for such a time like this. My God, we pray thee, Father, that you'll encourage them, O Lord God, and let them know that they're not alone, O Lord God Almighty, that you'll surround them, O Lord God Almighty, with, Father God, intercessors, Father, with people, O Lord God, that will cast a vision, O oh, my God, my Lord, and run with it, O Father. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray thee for strength, Father God, and rest, my God, and continued, Father God, my Lord, determination, O Lord God, with resilience, O Lord God, to make a difference in the city. Mighty God, we bless you because they are precious gems, O Lord God, that you have brought us. And Lord, O God, they have done tremendously well, Father God, my Lord, here in our church and in this city, Father, because of their leadership, O Lord God Almighty, Father, you have propelled them, O Lord God Almighty, to influence many other pastors in our city. And now, my God, we place them also, Father, pastors in the city, into your hands, O Lord God Almighty. Father, my God, we know that many of them, Father, oh my God, encountering challenges at this time, Lord, oh God, because your word tells us that you will give us pastors after your own heart, oh Lord God, we pray thee now, my God, that you will undergird them, Father, encourage them, oh Lord God, most high. We pray thee in the name of Jesus Christ, that for order the steps, oh Lord God, in your word. My God, we pray thee, O oh Lord God, that they will never get weary in well-doing. For oh Lord, we pray thee, O oh Lord God, that you give them strength to soar with rings like Jesus, O oh Lord God, our Savior. We pray thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in their areas, in their towns, Father God. Oh my God, that there will be the mouthpiece, Father God, of Jesus Christ and to be Jesus in hands extended, O oh Lord God Almighty. We pray thee, O oh Lord God, that you give them the confidence, O oh Lord, but to speak, Father, only as the Spirit gives them utterance. My God, we pray thee, not only Father God, Father, oh my God, for the pastors in our city, but Lord, oh God, we go beyond, Father, for the pastors in the southern New England area. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray thee, O oh Lord God, that to bless them, encourage them, O oh Lord God Almighty. As Father God, the lead, Father God, the congregations, Father God, my Lord, of these great states, my God, Massachusetts and Rhode Island, we pray thee, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. Lord, oh God, they know, my God, that what they're doing, Father, is making a difference because it's touching lives, oh Lord God. We pray thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that they will not, Father God, compromise. They will not hold back, oh Father, for they will speak, Father, holding my God, my Lord, as the word is declared, Father God, in the trust of Jesus Christ. My God, in Jesus' name, we come against, Father, and in fear, Father God, and the anxiety, O oh Lord God Almighty, and we clear, Father God, my Lord, that O oh Lord, Father, quick, Father God, my Lord, with the anointing of God Almighty, to speak, Father God, holy, and not be afraid. My God, we pray that they over their families, over their congregation, over their going out and their coming in, O oh Lord God Almighty, over them, O Lord God Almighty, bless them, Father God, my Lord. Let there be no lack in their lives, Father. Expand their borders.
waters in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Spirit of the living God. We call your name, O Lord God, because you said if we call you, we'll answer. So we step out on faith, Father, because you will show us great and mighty things we know not of. So, my God, we place the pastors into your hands, O Lord God Almighty. So, as they minister, Father God, my Lord, the words, Father God, my Lord, will be life changing, a revolutionized life, Father God, my Lord, in the townships, in the cities, Father God, my Lord. They will know, Father God, my Lord, that the Lord God Almighty reigns in the southern New England area, and God is not. Oh my God, my Lord, but my God, you are the true and living God. You are the God, Father God, my Lord, that's not gonna hold back and you will let the people speak with boldness and authority right now. My God, we give you thanks. My God, we give you glory. You're not a man that you should lie, Father. So my God, we speak these things into existence right now. And we declare it so, Father God, my Lord. Over your pastors, my God, that there be no sickness or diseases come nigh their dwellings or any of their families, oh Lord God. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray, oh Lord God, oh Father, my God, that they will do as you direct them through the home of the Holy Spirit. We thank you and we bless you. And Father God, my Lord, we pray thee for the church of God as an organization. My God, we pray thee, O Lord God Almighty Father, for the international offices at Tennessee, O Lord God Almighty. But not only there, Father God, we pray thee for the church of God organization, Father around the world, Father God, globally, on every continent, O Lord God Almighty, Father. We pray thee, O Lord God Almighty, that Lord, that, oh, oh my God, wake up and stir up some things in this organization. The Lord God Almighty, the world will see and know, oh my God, that we children of the Most High represented, Father, by the church of God, O Lord God Almighty. Oh my God, speaking, Father God, only Father God for equal rights of all people. Speaking boldly, my God, that all men, Father God, or women are created equal, O Lord God Almighty. Speaking boldly to be the example, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The others will take notice and follow, O Lord God, my God, in the name of Jesus, we pray thee that to speak for the hearts of our leaders, O Lord God. In Jesus' name, Father. Oh my God, let us speak, Father. I pray, oh, Father God, my Lord. And oh my God, this Father God, my Lord, is the example, my God, of unity and strength and togetherness, oh Lord God, that we desire your people to emulate. My God, in Jesus' name, we pray thee, oh Lord God, that every decision that they make, my God, they seek a place, oh Lord God. We pray for the executive committee, we pray thee for the general overseer. We pray thee for the council of 18, O Lord God Almighty. And as they make decisions, O Lord God Almighty, you will be one that's impactful, oh, Father God, my Lord. Benefit people, Father God, my Lord, of all color and races, O Lord God Almighty. Oh my God, that people will not be judged by the color of the skin, but by the content of their character. My God, we thank you. We bless you, O Lord God Almighty, and we praise your name, Father, because we stand by Father God, my Lord, and we wait, O Lord God, to see what you're doing, Father God, and what you're about to do. We thank you now, Father. We bless you now, Father. We be careful to give you the glory, the honor and praise as we anticipate the answers. In Jesus' precious name, amen, amen. 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 What an evening. Hallelujah. 
what an evening we just give god praise we just thank god the holy spirit was just in the midst i want to thank dr michael ellis i want to thank reverend arvo brown for those prayers um we i want to thank again uh dr sonny denal i want to thank reverend tony it was indeed an awesome time god has been so wonderful to us god has been so kind we had dr charles endifan who he was here with us earlier um tonight um he has been to over 88 countries all over the world he's known as the apostle of love because he brings healing and he brings miracles wherever he goes there's transformation we thank god that you know god shows a man of god for such a time as this to bring such a powerful word tonight we were so blessed i want to thank all our viewers out there on facebook and zoom and and youtube for staying with us as we travail as we pray tonight it was such an awesome time and we just want to give god all the glory all the praise again if there's a man to pray there is a god to answer and tonight was indeed such a wonderful wonderful time just before you go, um, while the men and women of God were praying, um, the Holy Spirit just started to show me persons. Uh, I saw kidneys. I saw I saw hearts. I saw so many um, just ailments. I, I I felt a migraine. I want you to latch on to the word tonight. I um I know that persons are on this line. You're fearful because you're thinking um you have COVID um symptoms or you're fearful of getting COVID nineteen. Remember that the best pill out there is the gospel. And Jesus, you know, he took care of all of that on Calvary. So I, I want you to just leave this line tonight with that boldness, knowing that God is everything that we need. Father, I thank you, Lord God. I thank you for all the viewers tonight out there on Facebook, on Zoom and YouTube who joined us tonight, Lord God. Father God, as Lord God, we look to heaven, Father. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the word that you sent from heaven's headquarters. God, you are amazing. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you that you've been in the midst, Lord God, of this session. What a wonderful time, Lord God. Father God, we spent in your presence tonight. And Father God, we just ask, Lord God, that you bless your people, my God. Father, as they depart, my God, Lord God, from this pearl line, Lord God, let them not depart from your presence, Lord God. Father, we pray, my God, a hedge of protection around their homes, Lord God, around their vehicles, Lord God, around the ministries, Lord God. And Father, we just ask, Lord God, that Father, you continue to keep them safe, Lord God, in the workplace, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the visionaries, Lord God, of celestial praise, Lord God. We thank you for what you're doing, God, Lord God, through our bishop, Lord God, Bishop Andrew Dobbin, Lord God, and First Lady Michaela Dobbin. And Father, we just ask, Lord God, that your hands, Lord God, be continuously on them. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for a beautiful night. We thank you, Lord God, for what you've done tonight. We honor what you're doing. We give you glory and praise and honor. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Want to say a pleasant good night to everyone. Want I see you. We'll see you next week Tuesday, same place, same time. God bless you all. I love you, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye.